In this video, we're going to talk about how to cross over like McKinnon. And this is a six week or six part, depending on how fast you go through it, program where we're going to talk about six things. And those six things are the rocker, the rhythm, the hop, the reaction, the risk illusion that you're going to dismantle and mastery. And, you know, we all know that McKinnon is a is a very unique crosser over er or cross under er. And we're going to break down some of the mechanics, but then also some of the rhythm and footwork things that he does to make his crosses so unique. And, um, you know, we're, we're really focusing on what makes McKinnon's crosses unique. We're not going to talk about things like uh, McDavid or Barzell's. Uh, this is focused purely on McKinnon so you can get that sort of hop and power that he has and so you can actually use it in a game like he does. And let's jump in and look at what we're going to talk about today which is the rocker. Now if you are wanting to work on this the very first drill you're going to do is the very basic cross drills. I want you to go right back into the fundamentals and you're going to go and you're going to work on the crosses this week. And you know, the question you're probably asking yourself is like, oh, when did Jason get so boring? Um, aren't you the guy who said, oh, you can stick handle like Patrick Kane in six weeks and McD skate like McDavid in six weeks? And the answer is um, you can. <laughs> you can. However, um, you know, you need to have that f that base of fundamentals first. Um, so, you know, I did get boring and start to say you need to start slow. You need to build the foundation. And then you want to rebuild the foundation. So the whole idea with to skate like McDavid or stick handle like Patrick Kane or do whatever in a really, really short amount of time is to ask, you know, if everyone thinks you have to take 10 years to do it, what kind of assumptions or things do people think that are wrong um, if we test that in a really compressed time frame? And the answer is quite a bit. What that quite a bit of things are is, you know, we often think, oh, you need to do power skating, you need to do a bunch of weightlifting um, and and ladder drills and agility drills and none of that stuff actually makes much of a difference um, at least to crossing over like McKinnon does um, and so even though we're going to do this really really fast we're going to see a massive improvement where it starts is extremely boring which is right back to the fundamentals so we do need to start slow we need to rebuild the foundation we need to revisit the foundation so you're going to focus on your cross overs or cross unders this week. Now, what you're going to focus on is what we see right here in these uh, images is the rocker from heel to toe. So I want to show you and combine the two things here. So in this situation, you can see I'm landing. This is how you walk. You land heel, you rocker to the front of your foot, and then you go forward. What you can see is that this mirrored exactly with how the skate rock can rocker from heel to toe. So what McKinnon does better than anyone is he combines rockering of the blade with the ro the natural rocker of your foot. Now, what's a little bit unique about this, uh, and what's really interesting is, you know, if you see here, he's not actually landing at the heel as the as this uh, image was showing. It's not actually as aggressive to the heel, um, but he is landing mid blade, and then he's rockering his weight to the toe, and he's doing that as that knee travels forward. So let's talk about that. So if you pay attention uh, to this slide, this is your typical pushing that you see. So this is like you landing flat on your on your blade here and then pushing. And so what you're doing is you're just, you know, you have to contract your calf muscle and you're going to push. So that's what we typically see. And what I want you to pay attention to is that the body and the energy goes straight up. So that's one version where you're just pushing straight up. So see here again, and you can see that I stop, I take all the energy away, and I'm just contracting my muscles, and uh, I'm going up. That's the pushing way. Now, here's how we walk. So we walk landing at the heel. Not This is not how we run, by the way, but this is how we walk. So we land at the heel, and then what you can see is the weight transfers forward from the heel, and it rockers forward to the toe. Then what I want you to pay attention to next is when we're at the heel, pay attention to the angle of the shin okay and you can see the knee is behind this behind where the point of ground contact is so the knee would be somewhere around here as that weight transfers from heel to toe you'll notice that the shin angle travels guess what forward and so now the knee lines up more over here when the knee lines up 
forward, what you're doing is you're creating a stretch across the back Achilles, the back, across the back calves, right? Now you see how far that shin travels forward. That's created a full stretch along here, which allows us to just spring forward. So this is what walking is like. And you can see that walking uses the shin angle, the knee coming forward, and how, and you can really notice how the knee travels forward to a point. And then that's when the weight transfers from heel to toe and the whole body ends up moving forward. Now, if you combine that with the skate, so you really actually combine that with the skate movement, then you have this doubling of force production. Now, like you can see, McKinnon doesn't actually land here, but he does land around, let's say around there. So you can see, <clears throat> even if you're not <clears throat> aggressively at the heel and you're landed here, there's still a pretty decent amount of like rocker that you can get. And so you can see here, I can actually still rocker it and then it can catch that toe and then go on. So when you combine that with this same movement of landing heel, getting that weight forward as the knee travels forward, loading up the calf spring, uh, that propels you forward instead of up. And that is what is happening when McKinnon is landing here, that knee travels forward, rockers to the toe, loading up that calf spring, and off he goes. So that's why we're headed right back to the fundamentals. We're gonna go back to the crosses, drills that you go that you do in the fundamentals, and you're gonna really focus on the rocker this week. You're gonna focus on landing heel and rockering to the toe. You're gonna you're going to overemphasize landing on the heel, even though McKinnon doesn't do that. Uh, and the reason for that is because you overemphasizing landing on the heel is probably more what McKinnon is doing without overemphasizing it. So this week you're going to focus on getting that feel and rockering landing from the landing on the heel and rockering to the toe. Uh, and you're going to get that feel because next week, once you have that feel, next week if you have the rocker dialed in, then the rhythm we're going to play with the rhythm. It's going to get a lot easier. Um, to play with that rhythm because you'll be totally effortless and if you have that rhythm we can turn it into a hop Then we can start to layer that into game type reactions And then we can dismantle the risk illusion to build mastery 